The well tool in Scrap Mechanic can be your best friend or it can be your worst nightmare, depending on if you know what you're doing with it. I mean, I don't mean that to sound, you know what I mean, like I'm trying to be little anybody or anything like that. But there's certain rules to Scrap Mechanic that are really confusing if you don't know them regarding the well tool. And it's things like, like this, for example, I'll use this. So I've got a bearing on a post at each end, okay? And I just want to run a line in here. So... In your head, you can just do this by dragging blocks, right? And then bang. But the only problem here is this isn't actually connected. So you're going to need to weld it. So, okay then, what about if we were to weld it as two pieces? Okay, so we're going to get the lift and we're going to run it out. So the length between these two is two full stacks plus a block. So if I do... A full stack plus a block. And weld it. Blue sparks will let you know that it's welded. That's a helpful hint to kind of think. So that was a full stack and a block. This is just a full stack. So take this off and we're going to go, okay, we'll weld this onto the bearings. Look for the blue sparks. See the blue sparks there? There was no blue sparks in the middle. These two still are not welded together. Scrap mechanic is a very strange way of doing stuff. What about if we build the length first, so it's the full length, and then weld it? Well, again, this is going to be the problem that you face with. So we're a full length and a block. And then we're a full length. Grab our weld tool. And I'll try and do it to this one here, so we can see the top right corner there. You only got blue sparks down that end, and no blue sparks down this end. Now, why is that? Because you and I both know what we're trying to do. We're both trying to weld just the one piece of wood between the two the two posts. But for whatever reason, Scrap Mechanic and the Weld Tool don't understand what you're trying to do. And it's a really easy fix. And I'll show you. It's the same with pistons, exactly the same thing. So you could have a line and you're trying to drag this one out. And this should be two full stacks and two blocks. So we'll do two full stacks, two blocks. There's, there's our two blocks. And there's our full stack. So it's the same situation. So you're going to go up here. You go onto the piston. And the piston will turn green. So it turns green if it can accept it. Now, if you look down at the other end, I don't know if you guys can see it very well on the video, but that other piston down there has not turned green. If I weld, you do not get any sparks. It is not connected. If I push this button, you'll see that the bottom piston is not connected. Annoying, right? Really, really annoying. There's a really easy fix that I know of to do this, and if anybody else in the community or on my subs or anybody else knows, please do drop it in the comments if you know a different way. My way to fix this is really simply, Scrap Mechanic sees these two posts as individual parts. You cannot weld something to two individual parts and hope it will stick just by welding it to one. Likewise, once we've welded it to one, you cannot then weld it to earlier. So I can't go up here and weld this and then go down here and weld this. It doesn't allow it. So the easy solution for me that I have found is you've literally just got to connect your two posts together using a wood block line. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, straight and simple. However way you can do it, just make sure that there is a connection of physical blocks between this post and this post. So for me, I'm just going to run it straight through the middle just for demonstration purposes. So we're there. Now, obviously, because we've dragged this, this is now solid at both ends. We dragged it from one to the other. There are no moving parts in between. It is a solid piece. So now if we take a bit that we're trying to weld, it's two full lengths and two blocks. So now if we do this, so remember, it's exactly the same as we did before. It didn't weld to both parts. But because now Scrap Mechanic sees this as one unit it goes oh, okay i know what you're trying to do so then you run that up there Boom. you see that bottom piston is now green see the two blue sparks and if we push this button they both move and this button is now only connected to one piston but they both move okay now say this was like one side of your base and this was another side of your base and you don't want this line you can once it is welded together remove it you are now still able to connect the other side of the pistons together because that block that you've just welded to it is your new connection point. So this welded piece 
makes the game see it still as one unit. So you're able to just throw it up like that. It's really silly because you and I both know what you're trying to do, but you've got to play to the rules of the game and sometimes it just doesn't work. And it's the same over here. So again, I could try and run a line across between two pist uh, two barons, um, but they're not connected. They look like they're connected, but as soon as I grab the controller, I can't get that bottom one because they're just not connected. So then what you got to do is, again, same as always, just connect the two pieces together. And then this will mean, I think you could even drag this one out. I'm not entirely sure. We'll double check. So we're here. Yep. Yeah. But now if we take this piece out. No. See, you can't do that way. You have to weld it between the two pieces. So basically you've got to connect your two posts together. Grab whatever it is that you're trying to weld. And I know that this can then become an issue because if you've got a really, like, really elaborate structure that has very specific places that your welds can go between, it's going to cause you problems. But you have to join the two pieces together and then you can remove them. Now, don't forget, there is the hack if for whatever reason, and guys probably know this or you might not know this, but if for whatever reason you don't or you haven't got the space to go above ground, just just be a little bit cheeky, okay? So if you do this, get a seat, put a seat on here, you jump on here and you can go below ground. So the issue that we've got now is if I step off, I've got to be careful. But uh, yeah, I can then get my block, say if I come down here and go over here and come down here. So it's now connected to underground. Okay, so now if we go above ground, we should be able to do the same thing. Get the weld tool, run it out, block on one, lift it up so when we take it off the lift, it doesn't go mental. Boom, boom, boom. Sparks both end. You didn't even see it. You don't even have to disconnect it under the ground, but it works. So make sure that whatever you're trying to connect to each other is connected via physical blocks like i say you then can remove that connection like we did over here we had it connected through the middle you can then remove the connection and job is a good one now also you cannot weld a moving part to a static part even if it is on the lift so for example this is a moving part this will spin round but for whatever reason and it might help you problem solve if i try and weld this i can't do it simply because there's a bearing here, but there's no bearing here, so you can't do that. If you do this, you can weld these together. And obviously, this is then static. Great. So, if for whatever reason you're trying to weld something, and you think you've built it right and it won't weld, it's a great way to check, are certain pieces looped together that maybe shouldn't be? For example, like I say, if I was trying to weld them together, I'm like, oh, why wasn't that weld together? It tells me that somewhere along the join, so it's either here where one side is or here where one side is, there's a moving part. So for us, we know there's a bear in there. You can put two moving parts together. So if I put pistons here, run this set of blocks out and come down, and then put another piston here, put blocks here, I can now weld this to this and this is together. So this is basically one unit. I don't know why you'd ever need to do this, but you know what I mean? I don't know why you'd ever need to like weld a bear into a straight piece and then weld it back on itself, but it's just there to try and help you guys understand how the weld tool works. You cannot weld a static part to a movable part. You have to have two movable parts in the mix. Likewise, I don't think you can weld a bear in to a piston. So if we're here and we do this, oh, you can do that. That's interesting. Should we see what this can do? This is a new one for me. Now, in theory, nothing should work. If it's connected together, it shouldn't be able to move anywhere. So the piston should not be able to push. There we go. Because of the bearing in there. The bearing won't be able to turn just simply because it's held by the piston. It tries to. Piston tries to push and bearing tries to turn. But it just can't. You can see it trying to turn, see it trying to twist. 
But obviously, because it's welded on the piston, it can't do. So that's kind of problem solving for you, if you like, regarding the weld tool. If something turns red, it means usually you've got a moving part that you're trying to weld to a static part. Or if you're trying to weld a longer pieces together, make sure that it's connected. It's a tricky one, I understand. But you just got to play by the rules. Everything that you're trying to weld to has to be seen as one object. I hope that helps you guys anyway. I know the weld tool can be a little bit of a, uh, a tiresome little devil. And you know what you're trying to do and it often won't do. But that's just a small little insight into uh, why you might be struggling. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We are still on the road to 1,000 subs before my birthday. It's getting a bit tight. We might not make it, but who knows. Take it easy. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye.